It is the 7th of the 5th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Peru pelican and dolphin deaths promote warning to stay off beaches. Government issues health alert for more than after more than 1,400 birds are washed up along with 800 dolphins with the cause unknown. Peru's government has declared a health alert along its northern coastline and urged residents and tourists to stay away from long stretches of beach as it investigates the unexplained deaths of hundreds of birds and dolphins and pelicans. Farmers worry that May snow and freeze temperatures could bring crop failures to Britain. Parts of Britain will be colder than the Arctic this weekend as rain and even snow threaten to put a freeze on millions of families. Um, may bank holiday plans. Beach trips and barbecues are likely to be off the agenda as forecasters predicted the mercury could plunge to as low as 26 degrees Fahrenheit, that's negative 3 Celsius, in places on Saturday. Deadly tornado rips through eastern Japan. Tornado ripped through eastern J Japan, killing one person, injuring at least 20 people, destroying houses and cutting power to around 20,000 households. Now, this tornado happened north of Tokyo uh, in a radioactive zone that we've been watching for a while, so no telling what this tornado kicked up. And they've got some pretty, uh, pretty graphic uh, videos going on off on that, too. Uh, frost kills early blooms in Ontario. The apple cross losses to top 100 million. A catastrophic freeze has wiped out about 80% of Ontario's apple crop and has, and has the province fruit industry looking at losses already estimated at, at more than 1 million. This is the worst disaster fruit gra growers have ever, ever experienced. Harrow Area Orchard owner Keith Wright said on Friday, We've been here for generations and I've never heard of this happening before across the province. This is unheard of. We're all fruit grow growing areas in basically the Great Lakes area. Michigan, Pennsylvania, New York, State, Ontario are all basically wiped out. It's unheard of. More crop losses. Increased volcanic activity at Mount Bikdu, and this is the, vol the, the largest volcano on the Korean Peninsula. Uh, it's up in North Korea, close to China, but South Korea is also concerned about the ramifications of a major um, volcanic eruption, which they say is uh, pretty much building up to that. And that's about all new they've got going on. Uh, extinction protocol. Snow in Scotland has met, met issues early weather warnings for next week. Uh, of course, they found the plague-infected ground squirrel in California. And where's this other one? Nepal flash flood death toll may hit 60. The death toll in a flash flood in Nepal's central region could be as high as 60, according to rescuers scouring the area for survivors. They say there's almost no hope for finding any, anyone else alive. And they've got some pretty uh, graphic video on that as well. Flames and smoke erupt from the ground in uh, Sri Lanka. A large crowd flocked to, see, flocked to see flames and smoke which mysteriously appeared from a hole dug up uh, today. And they actually had to call the cops and the, the army out to, to keep the crowd at bay. Still unknown what, where all this smoke's coming out of the ground. Uh, they've got the Japan tornado story, of course. And where was that other one? And that's about it for them tonight. Over to the watchers. I uh, want to cover a couple stories. Rare heat burst event in Iowa. A rare heat burst occurred on Thursday in Bussey, about 50 miles southeast of Des Moines, when suddenly temperatures spiked more than 10 degrees. Uh, data from the SchoolNet uh, KCCI 8 weather station shows a sudden temperature change shot up from about 74 degrees to about 85 degrees, and at the same time the dew point dropped from 73 to 54. And uh, they say this happens time again, but it's a pretty rare occurrence. Convection would be my guess. 
Hailstones the size of baseballs trashed wheat crops of southwestern Oklahoma farming town. Residents of Grandfield, southeastern Oklahoma farming town spent Saturday cleaning up after a compact storm carrying a big punch pretty well shut the town down. Hail the size of baseballs thrashed the wheat crops just days before harvest, damaging hundreds of homes and vehicles when the storm rolled through on Friday evening. More crop damage. And uh, ash on the snow from the Sholvuch volcano in Kamachka Peninsula, eastern Russia. Uh, they've got three big volcanoes there have been popping off periodically. And uh, that's about all I want to cover off of there tonight. Over to the RSE real quick. we got another major hailstorm uh, in South Dakota. And that's about all new they've got going on tonight. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and take care of the, the radiation stuff, e, e News, real quick. Kyoto Professor, 20,000 square kilometers would be evacuated if Japan followed law on illegal radioactive waste. It would be completely devoid of people. So if they were following the law, um, they should have evacuated these people a very long time ago. Another Japan nuclear expert, there have been, there are known to be broken fuel rod assemblies in spent fuel pool number four. Large amount of radioactive material has fallen to the bottom. Many years to get the fuel out. And they're still trying to figure out how to shore the thing up. Bellona, concerns loom over larger, consumes loom ever larger at Fukushima as experts warn of number four, four Pool's unstable condition with increasing worry. And, uh, more than 25 schools with high radiation areas, at least 19 nursery and elementary schools affected 60, kilom 60 kilometers from Fukushima. Uh, officials testimony, quote, our town citizens reported they tried to have exposure tests at several hospitals but they are all stopped by Fukushima Medical University. Uh, Mayor also quoting, I'm losing my hair and have, no, and have a nosebleed every day. I asked for blood tests at the hospital in Tokyo because I'm exposed, but they refuse to do it. Covering it up, covering it up. Uh, Caldecott. Fukushima radiation will be reaching you quite soon on the U.S. West Coast. I don't think I'd be surfing. Videos attached on that as well. That's about all I'm going to cover tonight. Uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.